All right, family. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to me, your mental health host, Khadija. All right, y'all know we're doing these principles of Kwanzaa. And today should be what? One, two, three. The sixth day of Kwanzaa. And the sixth day of Kwanzaa represents our uh, 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 Kumba. Our Kumba, which represents our creativity. To always do as much as we can and to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited. That is your creativity. Um, a song of reflection today could be Africa by John Coltrane. A thought for the day could be by the uh, Leroy Jones, uh, better known as Amiri Baraka. Blues people, Negro music in white America. William Morrow. How did it do this? What was so powerful and desperate in this music that guaranteed its continued existence? This is what pushed me. But... As I began to get the history of music, I found that it was impossible without the same getting deeper into the history of the people. That it was the history of the Afro-American people as text, as tale, as story, as exposition, narrative, or whatever you have. That the music was a score that, that actually expressed creative, orchestrated, vocalized, hum, chanted, blown, scattered, corollary confirmed of the history and that one could go from one to the other actually from inside to the outside or reverse and be talking about the same things that music was explaining the history as history was explaining the music and that both were expressions and reflection and indication of the people Yes, 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 yes. That, that sounds creative. Yes, it does. And that um. So today's recipe is your molasses water. What is molasses water? Something that we're gonna try. Um, molasses water is one quart of water, a half a cup of dark molasses or to taste, a fourth a cup of fresh lemon juice, five spring fresh mint. And mint sprigs and lemon slices for garnish. So you want to mix the water, the molasses, and the lemon juice together in a pitcher. Stirring roughly to make sure that the molasses is well mixed in. Refrigerate this for about at least two hours or until well chilled. When ready to serve, bruise the mint by pressing it against the side of your serving pitcher with a bowl or a spoon. Add rice and pour in the molasses water. Serve chilled in glasses decorated with fresh mint. Um, and thin slices of lemon garnish. For the garnish, I'm sorry. And it'll make about a quart. Okay, that's called molasses water. Yes! And believe me or not, during a period of our ancestors' American enslavement, water was their only beverage. Uh, for holidays and special occasions, they improvised using only sweetener that they had, molasses. And so for this recipe, I've taken a couple of liberties with the history and added a sprig of fresh mint and squeeze of the fresh lemon juice in memory of our ancestors and the molasses water that they had, they made. Hmm. Ain't that something? Molasses water. Wow. Because you know you, they wasn't getting nothing fancy. <laughs> so the children's activity today. This creativity. Okay. Your kumba. Your creativity. This is the sixth principle of Kwanzaa. And it reminds us that we all use our creativity to make our communities and all the world around us better and more beautiful place. Music is a creative way to express yourself. Write a short song that tells others about you. Um, let's see. There's, um, you know, you can 
how can you use your creativity to celebrate and help your community? So, Karumba is your creativity, and your creativity is what you should focus on today. How can I be a more creative person so I can help those around me? All right, you guys, that is the sixth day of uh, principle for Kwanzaa, and I'll see you tomorrow.